we cut A-sides. That's all we went in the studio for. And we would go in for like two hours on, our, you know, on the way to a gig uh, after doing like a few interviews and photo shoot and maybe a TV show and a radio broadcast, you know. We'd go in for two hours and it had to be an A-side. That's the only thing that we were going to play on the radio. And if it was longer than two minutes ten, then we had to trim it because they wouldn't play no more than two minutes ten. There weren't three minute songs back then. So Hey Girl was, yeah, it was a compromise because Steve and Ronnie wanted to write. They see how Sha La 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 Lee was okay. I've got mine wasn't. Well, then we got to write something very pop. And we were a soul band. We were an R&B band on stage. And it hurt me to be playing this pop. Hey Girl was a great song. The fact that we wrote it meant a lot more than, than just somebody else writing their commercial song. Um, still didn't represent what we were really all about, but nevertheless, we, it was ours. And that's the way it was crossing the Great Divide. So we thought we'd do that and then we'd just slowly get into what we really wanted.